हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू केंद्रीय विद्यालय बरपेटा माय नेम इज संजय कुमार थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी क्लास फॉर मैथमेटिक्स सो थ्रू दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर सम टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इनिशियल टॉपिक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट टुडे द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट इज फर्स्ट टॉपिक द नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज building with bricks if a question that i ask to you what is the shape of brick how does it look like i think most of the students have seen how a brick look like i think i think you have seen also at your home in at the construction site so let me show you picture of brick now this is the picture of brick but if i question that ask to you what is the shape of this brick that most of the student will say the shape of this brick is you boy someone will say this the uh, the shape of this brick is rectangle and someone will say q so through this channel through this video we are going to study different types of shapes like basically building with bricks in building with bricks we are going to study different types of shapes and what are the properties of say, shapes so let us start now i think every student already have seen this this type of shape the name of this shape is circle rectangle triangle oval octagon but someone some student will say but we have not studied this shape in class 3 in class 4 but if i let me tell you first up to class 4 we need to study only five shapes first one is circle rectangle triangle oval and square up to uh, after class 5 or 6 then we will study octagon this this type of shapes so up to class 4 we need to study only five shapes so let us start so if i uh, now if we talk about shapes so how many types of shapes that we have so let me introduce to you the first type is two dimension shapes and the second type is three dimension shape shape that means we have two types of shape first one is two dimension shape the second one is three dimension shapes so one by one we will study about it if we talk about two dimension shape first let me tell you two dimension shape is also called 2d shapes let me read out the definition of 2d shapes in geometry a two dimensional shape can be defined as a flat plane figure or a shape that has two dimension length and with two dimensional or 2d shapes do not have any thickness and can be measured in only two phase that means if we talk about 2d shapes in 2d shapes we will find only two dimensions first one is length and the second one is width that's why this type of shape shapes are called two dimensional shapes let me show you some pictures of shape, uh, two dimensional shapes these are the two dimensional shapes circle rectangle triangle oval in these shapes you will find only length and width like circle rectangle triangle so one by one we will study about uh, these shapes so uh, let me introduce some another definition of uh, two dimension shapes plane shapes are those can be drawn on the flat surface such as paper it has two measurements length and breadth so it is also known as two dimensional or 2d shapes that means as we have already studied if we talk about two dimensional shapes we will find only two dimensions first one is length and the second one is breadth or width breadth and width are the same thing so don't confuse over here so that means in 2d shapes we will find only two dimensions so, so length and width or breadth but if we talk about square square has all sides equal that's why there is there is, you will not uh, find any differentiate between uh, length and breadth in square but if we talk about rectangle in rectangle you will easily find out length and breadth width or breadth so one by one we will know more about two dimension shapes so here you can see parts of 2d shapes like what are the parts of 2d shapes there are four parts of 2d shapes first first one is face the second one is corner third one is angle fourth one is straight line face what is face face as you can see blue part 
blue part is face and corner is this one and the outer and the at the end of this shape is called corner this one this one this one this one if i talk about how many corners are there there are one two three and four there are four corners and if i talk about angle what is angle basically angle is where two straight line intersect each, each other both line make a angle this is angle so this one is also angle this one is also angle this one is also angle and this one is also an angle so angle you know how many angles are there one two three four and the third one is straight line so this is also a part of 2d shapes like one two three four straight line we have already studied in class three straight line is also called edges so basically you are uh, every student know what is edge so these are the edges how many edges are there then you will say one two three four there are four edges basically in 2d shapes you will find only four parts first one is face second one is corner the third one is angle and fourth one is straight line so let me introduce another shape of 2d that is rectangle so in rectangle then you will say uh, what is the properties of rectangle base basic properties both uh, we will say opposite sides are equal this side is equal to this this side is equal to this that means opposite sides are equal basically so again in 2d shape there are four parts same that we have already studied like face corner angle and straight line so every 2d shapes you will find four parts now let me introduce 3d shapes so here we will find some difference over here so if we talk about 2d shapes then we have studied in 2d shapes width and length but if we talk about 3d shapes there is one more dimension that is height that's uh, now how many dimensions are there one two three that's why these kind of shapes are called 3d shapes because there are three dimensions in, but but in 2d in 2d shapes there is only two dimension that is why 2d shapes are called two dimension shapes and if you talk about 3d shapes there are three dimension that's why we call it 3d shapes so here you can see this is length this is width and this one is height so basically 3d shapes you will find all around your your world every shape that you can see you can feel you can touch is 3d shape now let me introduce some proper uh, some example of 3d shapes here are some example that you need to study in 3d shapes cylinder cube rectangle prism sphere pyramid and cone that this one is also called cuboid so cylinder cube cuboid or rectangular prism sphere pyramid and cone now we will study about parts of 3d shapes these are the parts of 3d shapes as uh, we have already studied in 2d shapes these are called corner in 2d shapes these are called corners but in 3d shapes these are called vertex so basically remember this thing in 2d shapes these are called corner but in 3d shapes we will say vertex and faces we have already discussed what are the faces that does this blue one yellow one and red one and edges with the, as usual in 2d shapes like this one is that this one is that this line is edges is basically straight line like this 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 one and this one so here you will find only one difference that is vertex so vertex in 3d shape and corner in 2d shapes but if you talk about 3d shapes you will find that only three parts are there only three but in 2d shape there are there were four parts in 2d shapes there were four parts but in 3d shapes there are three parts one two three only three parts are there let me give you some another example of 3d shape so that you can know more ah, this one what is the name of this shape the name of this shape is cuboid 
so here again only three parts are there one two three because this shape is 3d that's why there are only three parts so first one is face this one is also this one is face this 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 face this one is face this one is face and edges that means straight line this is straight line this is straight line so these are edges and vertex this this one is vertex this one is vertex this one is vertex this one is vertex 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 so here you can easily identify vertex edges and faces so let me count the face so how many faces are there let me count one two three below part four and five front part and the back six in cuboid you will find only six part are there and let me count vertex how many vertex are there one two three four five six seven eight how many vertexes are there there are eight vertex and let me count edges also how many edges are there edges are straight line so let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve there are how many edges there are twelve edges so in cuboid you will find six face eight vertex and twelve edges so let me give you another example of 3d shape that is cube here you will find this is the another example of cube so same thing vertex edge straight line this is straight line this one is all straight so these are lines basically in shape or uh, whenever wherever you will find lines are called edge so this is edge this one is edge and face you can see this one is face this one is face and this one is vertex so what we have studied i have already given you some work for you so that you can know more about and uh, this sheet will revise your study deck like this uh, what if i ask to you what is the name of this shape then you will write the name of uh, this shape and account the edges vertexes and faces same thing you will do it over here like name of this shape go write down the name and edges so now one more thing <coughs> let us count the face and edges and vertex in this shape okay so first of all you will write name of the shape cone and let us count the edge so let me count to one two three four five six seven eight there are eight edges so write down eight let me count the faces one this one this whole part one two two front part and the side part three and this in the back part four and the below part five you can write five part over here now vertex is one two three four five how many vertexes are there five so same thing you will do at your home if you have any doubt just ask your doubt in the comment box as soon as possible i will give the answer of your doubt thank you for watching this video